Hi everyone, Morella here. Um, just uh, today I wanted to share with you a few goodies I got recently, so a small haul. It's mostly from Simon's stamp. Uh, most of the stuff has been purchased by me, but some of it was actually sent to me as well. And there's a small haul here from Seven Hills Crafts as well, so I'll start with this one. So um, you surely have already heard about the Lone Fawn Chamois. I heard a lot of good uh, reviews uh, about it or of it and um, yeah many people and many crafters out there have mentioned that it's a really great tool and it's uh, working fabulous so I decided to give it a go and I ordered it. Um, Seven Hills Craft was probably one of the few places that still had it available three weeks ago roughly when I was buying it so I think I actually purchased the last one and I was delighted with myself so um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be back in stock in many shops um, in the nearest future now as well. But um, yeah, I purchased it now and I can't wait to start using it. I was waiting for uh, to take that video first, but um, once I'm done with the video, um, I'm going to start using it. And um, hopefully I'll be able to give you some more information about it on my side, but it looks like it's going to be a very good tool. And because I just didn't want to order the chamois on its own, it was a little bit... Um, seemed a little bit boring to order just one item so I ordered this uh, Lawn Fawn stamp set it's called uh, Winter Sparrows and it's that little mini set so it was very inexpensive um, believe it or not it was actually my very first Lawn Fawn uh, stamp set that I own so I know they're very cute images and there's lots of lovely uh, goodies out there but somehow I never really um, got into them uh, in terms of purchasing them so I decided to give uh, this one a go as well I think it's not only a Christmassy one I think those birdies are pretty versatile as well and that little branch there and the uh, um, music note and the leaves so um, I thought I'd get that so that was my little order from Seven Hills Crafts and now on to the Simon's stamp order or haul um, yeah, as you can see, my Lawn Fawn little stamp set is not the only one I own now because I actually decided to get another one when I was ordering from Simon Says Stamp. And this one is the Turn Me On one. Um, very cute small um, stamp set again, so very inexpensive, but I thought it could be um, used for many occasions as well and it was quite um, cute and lovely, so I decided to get that one. Um, I also got some sequins from Neat and Tangled. This is the Pixie Dust Mix and it's um, mostly um, pinks and golds um, I decided to give these a go as well they just I just happened to come across them and I thought I'd uh, give a different kind of sequence a go as well I've recently purchased a few pretty pink posh ones as you know and now I thought I'd give the neat and tangled ones a go as well speaking of embellishments you can never have too many of these I got the doodlebug sprinkles and this is the um, gold one yeah, gold. Um, they look lovely. I hope it picks on camera. It's really, really very, very nice and sparkly and golden. Um, I've seen it on a project recently and I really liked them, so I thought I'd get them too. I also purchased three new distress inks in the mini version. Uh, the first one is Chipped Sapphire, which I wanted to have forever now. But for some reason, whenever I was making orders, it was always out of stock. So it was finally in stock this time, so I decided to get it. Then the Cracked Pistachio one, um, a lovely color again. A quite newish one uh, of the colors, but a um, lovely one. I love the Peacock Feathers one, so I thought I'd get this one as well, because it's kind of similar, but more on the green side. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, mix the two of them every now and again. And last, ma last, last but not least is the Welted Violet, which is again one of the recent enough colours. And I was, it was a lovely, lovely um, purple or violet colour, so um, I got this one as well. The next up is the Inca and Kadu masking paper or mask paper. I Again, it's one of those things that I wanted to order and it's always been out of stock whenever I was making my orders. Then I decided to actually give the Simon's stamp masking paper a go and that was out of stock but this one was in stock so <laughs> I decided to get the Inca Dinka Do paper uh, a go and um, well yeah again it's nothing new in the market really people have been using it for a long time so I'm hopefully going to like it too. Then two stamp sets that I'm very very excited about and I can't wait to start using these. I hope you can see them even 
in the, through the glare. I'm sorry, I need to use the artificial light here already. So these are the two stamp sets by Sam Simon Says Stamp from their um, Smile Release, a uh, Reason to Smile Release. And this is the Choose Happy stamp set and the Spring Flowers stamp set. Very, very excited about these two. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Love the sentiments here. They're really fun and lovely at the same time. Those flowers here, I think, are beautiful. So versatile with the proper lines and the stitch lines and um, those different flowers that you can put under the leaves and everything. I've seen lots of, obviously, inspiration out there for these uh, two already, but I think they're really very, very cool and they're lovely stamps to have. So I ordered these. Next up is the, another item from Lawn Fawn, and again, something I've been waiting to get for, I think, at least half a year now, if not longer. But every time I want to order this, this is out of stock everywhere as well. These are the stitched borders from Lawn Fawn. I hope you can see them there. Let me just have a look at the camera so that you can see those different uh, stitching details. Yeah, I think it's an absolutely amazing um, little die set. Again, something quite inexpensive since these are only lines. They're not really shapes like rectangles or squares or anything. But I think um, a very versatile set of dice and I think I'm going to be using that a lot, hopefully. Then I got the WOW uh, embossing powder. That's the opaque, bright, white, super fine powder. I haven't had a lot of luck with um, heat embossing in terms of sentiments and so on. But I think it's down to the fact that I never really had a super fine embossing powder. Um, I, I, re I bought, I think around last year around Christmas, a gold and a silver embossing powder in super fine. And I actually was pretty happy with the results of that in terms of snowflakes and so on. So I thought that maybe if I get a white one that is super fine as well, I will finally be able to get decent results in terms of... Um, uh, sentiments so this is the one that I purchased by WOW and um, hopefully that'll work for me now. Next up is a Simon Says Stamp die this is called the Heart Bent and it is basically a little uh, shape of a heart kind of got dice into the paper this is the size of it and it's kind of similar to the recent release uh, by Concord and Ninth where there's a set of a little of two little hearts and some uh, leaves and and so on and um, I really like this one by Simon Says Stamp. It's quite inexpensive since it's not a very big die as you can see, um, and I thought it was uh, a really nice kind of a die and I think it can be very versatile for lots of different projects. So I got got that as well. By the way, the full uh, supply list of all these items that I'm showing here will be underneath in the description box below. So. If you're looking for any of those items, you can find them over there. Next up, I got a few masks, again by Simon Says Stamp. These are masks I've seen for a while around and I wanted to give them a go. Uh, so this one is um, the uh, this snow one. It is called Falling Snow. I hope you can see this. This is the snow effect there. Then I got the tiny hearts one. Oh great, you can see everything there in the reflection. Uh, tiny spaced hearts it's called. And then the last one that I got is this one and it's called uh, Tiny Dots. So these are the tree stencils by Sue Simon Says Stamp that I wanted to, to try out. Um, I have an embossing paste that I still haven't started using so hopefully I'll be able to use it with these. I think these are pretty good uh, small stencils for card making but they can be used as well for distress inks and other techniques so I'm quite excited to get those and then I got myself the uh, eight and a half by eleven inches uh, watercolor paper by Ranger that's uh, pretty much the same one as the Tim Holtz watercolor paper that I've been using so far the only difference is the watercolor by um, Tim Holtz is already cut to an A2 size card these are the um, proper 8.5 by 11 inches sheets and I thought I'd get these big sheets this time instead of the pre-cut ones since sometimes I just want something bigger or a different shape and um, yeah the, the, the ones that are cut to the A2 size obviously 
can't always um, comply with whatever needs I have so I thought I'd get uh, this bigger size this time to use kind of both of them whenever I um, need them for a particular project. And then from some of the goodies that were sent to me um, I got the Love Makes a Home uh, stamp set and the coordinating dies for it. So it looks like a really lovely set where you can create your own home. It has a lovely little tree and a little post box. I love the sentiments, especially the one that says what I love most about my home is who I share it with. I think it's a fantastic stamp set here for a new home and related to themes. Those little birdies there are very cute as well. And I love that it comes with the coordinating dice, especially the little birds. I think they're very, very cute. And then I got also another set by Simon Says, which is Happy For You. It has very nice sentiments, as you can see. So very happy for you. Hello, have a lovely day. And it also comes with the coordinating dice and there's some flowers there and the wreath and everything. I think it's a very neat, lovely um, set as well. There were a few masks as well included. And so this one is the Mosaic Stars set of stencil. I think it's a pretty cool as well. Um, haven't purchased this one myself, but um, in, amongst those three that I got this time, but I think it can be very nice. First of all, you have the um, star shapes, but I also like the fact that it has that mosaic inside and you could use it as a kind of brick wall or something like that as well if you're uh, using just the inner part of it. So I think it's pretty versatile. Funnily enough, I got um, another one of those tiny hearts, the tiny spaced hearts. In that set so I have two of them now I'll think whether I'm going to use it maybe for a giveaway or um, yeah I'll see how much I'm using them and how much they use up but I don't think they really use up that quickly so I might uh, have this one as a spare for now and I might be sharing it with someone then I was very excited to get the four stamps uh, the four dye inks by Simon Says Stamp again something I really wanted to try out but never really um, had enough budget there was always budget for something else but I never ended up getting the stamps the uh, inks so I got the hydrangea I think you pronounce it as the Caribbean blue the beanstalk green and the burnt orange colors I uh, can't wait to dig into these because there's a lot of hype about them as well they're apparently very good uh, quality inks so they can be used as well for with the ink blending tools and so on not only for stamping so I really look forward to giving these a go and seeing how they go and last but not least again something I really wanted for a long time is the Simon Says Stamp cardstock and this is the assorted uh, pack of I think 15 colors or maybe 20 colors as in 20 sheets I think and there is a two sheets of each color I think of Simon Says Stamp cardstock again um, I heard a lot of good stuff about um, the Simon Says Stamp cardstock never really used it so I'm very excited to be able to try it out so these are the colors that come in, the, in that uh, set so I think it's a very nice versatile amount of colors some of them obviously go as well with the uh, ink colors that the uh, Simon Says Stamp um, provides um, so yeah it seems very nice and sturdy I think it's going to be very nice I'll see how it is for stamping and cutting and everything but it seems very nice weight wise and the colors are very nice so I'll be definitely excited to cut into these so this is my little um, Simon Says Stamp haul lots of Simon Says Stamp branded items which I'm very happy to um, try out um, I have already a few items from them and so far I've been pretty happy with them so I'm, I'm pretty sure that I will be happy this time as well. Um, not even sure what I'm mostly excited about because I love everything about that haul really. I think those two stamp sets is definitely something I was really looking forward to. The chamois definitely again is something that I'm really looking forward to trying out. But then all the little long fun sets and the masks and all the papers and the inks as well. I mean, everything is really lovely and I look forward to um, playing with these. So stay tuned on my blog and my Instagram account and I'm surely going to be uh, sharing some projects with these soon or so I hope. So that will be it for me today. I hope you have a great weekend and those of you who celebrated, I wish you a very, very happy Easter. And hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Bye.